Hey YouTube, it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, this tank has oh, had a rough time for the last several weeks. All but one of the little Danios died. Uh, I think it was from some sort of swim bladder infection. I treated with Paragard the recommended amount of times in the proper way and everything. And it turned out that the Paragard didn't knock it. Um, so... What happened was they would be swimming around, their tail would start becoming more buoyant and tip them head down toward the gravel. Um, they got lethargic, stopped eating, lost all of their weight, and then died. So, I don't know what it was. I'm still monitoring this Danio. It's been about a week since the last one died. I'm going to go two or three, maybe even four weeks before I try re-adding fish to this tank. Um, the two Tetras didn't get sick at all. So that was good. It was a species specific thing. The shrimp in this tank are doing really, really well. There have been several babies, most of which have been eaten by the other fish, but that's okay. I didn't really expect this to breed shrimp in this tank. I just threw them in as a cleaning crew. If they survived, they did, and if not, well, they were the less colorful ones from the five gallon chi anyway, so. It wasn't that big of a deal. As you can see, most of the females have really colored up in this tank because of the black gravel. And even some of the males, you can see at the top of the geode there, even some of the males now are starting to get some color to them. Uh, there's some that are about a month and a half old in here. There you can see a smaller one in the gravel. The wisteria is growing well. I put some behind the white plant here to see if it'll grow. If it settles in and it starts eating some of the poop in the gravel, that's good. Otherwise, yeah, there's enough here to keep the nitrate pretty low. The one thing that I have noticed about these tanks is the filter up here. It tends to grow a lot of algae. It requires cleaning at least once a week just because it starts growing a lot of green dust algae on it. But other than that, this sponge filter requires very little maintenance and it keeps the water very well oxygenated. You can see all the bubbles coming out of it. Plus the shrimp like to graze on it. You can see there's one over there right now. So, all in all, this tank's doing okay. It's recovered since the Danios died. I've been doing pretty religious water changes on it. I always have been since it's been running, but I've been even more meticulous in replacing larger volumes of water since those fish were sick. Alright, I'm going to turn the lights back out. And Thanks for watching.